Hello, welcome and welcome back to Italian Oraculum. I'm Danilo and today I'm making a video with the future readings for the relationships. So uh, this is the first time I'm doing it in English. I'll explain it uh, briefly. I am going to pick three cards for a series of different uh, categories. So you are going to see couple relationships, but also family relationships, friends, and uh, even colleagues. So that being said, let's begin with cut in the deck. This is the Druidcraft Tarot. Hmm, we are thinking, we are making decisions, we are speaking, so our relationships right now, in this very moment, are very thought and uh, speech based, and we are evidently trying to build something with another person, if we're talking couples, we are trying to decide things with other people, if we're talking friends, we are trying to decide how to move forward, if we're talking colleagues, and when it comes to family, it could be a little bit of everything, depending on if it's your parents, you're still living with them, if it's uh, your brothers and sisters, uh, if it's your grandparents, your family as a whole, uh, maybe you're just deciding where to go this summer for your family vacation, or maybe you have a, a business, a family business, and so you need to decide certain things together, you know what it is. So. The first quick reading is for single people that want to find a relationship but mm, with a new person. So, it seems you are closing once and for all, the situation you were living before, so if you are still in a couple, it seems like you are going to change things around. If you have been broken up with, you are going to get over it and you are going to find someone new. Anyway, the next phase is going to be of growth, of evolution, there's more passion, there's more uh, there are projects together and your role specifically is very much enjoying what this brings you. So, at the end of the day, your future is bright. You are going to either date a lot around, trying to find the right person, or you are going to find someone new with which you are essentially from the start building something enjoyable and uh, intriguing and uh, meaningful. Next is for those in a relationship. So, something's about to change uh, drastically. Maybe you have already started to notice the, that something's wrong, something's different. Maybe you know something is coming, but something's going to change a lot and kind of going to throw everything in, uh, in disarray. Everything is going to change. It's going to be a lot of 
what's coming your way, what you can uh, actually get, what kind of chance, chance sorry, uh, chances you can get, uh, you can uh, count on, uh, what you actually see as an opportunity, what you see just as maybe a, another form of chaos, uh, but you are going to see the good side, you're going to see the truth, so at the end of the day you are going to transform this abrupt and possibly chaotic and painful change into the occasion, the opportunity for a better tomorrow that it is, because your uh, ability to see the truth your ability to not let your emotional turmoil influence how you see things and how you learn to know them is not going to... Essentially, you are not going to panic. Uh, you are not going to let this crush you, you are going to find a solution to it or uh, a way in which this was useful anyway. Next, if for those that want to go back with someone, so the thing is, you need to make a choice because at the end of the day you can think all the all the ways in which you can talk to this person all the ways you in which you can kind of try to make them forgive you you can think about all the ways in which they should try to get your forgiveness but if you don't put yourself out there if you don't start doing something it's your choice to stay exactly where you are so it, there is a component of action that is missing right now that you need to choose to change you need to choose to be more proactive in the situation. Now, friends, what's gonna happen between you and your friends? Something is wrong. Uh, there is something that has not bored you but tired you. Uh, it's no longer sustainable, uh, it could be a friend that's always asking, asking, asking and never offering you uh, their help or their ear when you need someone to listen to, to you. Um, maybe they're never going to they never give you an advice uh, and are always asking for help themselves. Uh, whatever it is, uh, it's over. Maybe it's someone that's just going to move away. There's no problem between the two of you, but life has just taken a turn and they, they need to leave. You need to leave, maybe. And it's going to take time, it's going to take time and reasoning, but at the end of the day, you are going to see both the goods and the bads of this, uh, this friendship. The bads may outweigh the goods, because that happens, but at the end of the day, you can mature the, the wisdom to see how even this friendship uh, has maybe made you stronger, has maybe taught you to not trust similar people 
in the future because there is for the first time in in my life i noticed that there is a, a creature which could be an otter trying to catch a, a fish i've always noticed the fish and this darker figure was always kind of in my peripheral and never focused on it so you are in a toxic sort of friendship you should get back time for yourself uh, recharge and be more protective of your energy and time and yeah it's gonna suck realizing that this friendship was unilateral was fake was toxic but uh, the sooner you realize it the sooner you can uh, heal from it now family So, the situation with your family relationships, I see that there is something good, something that gets resolved, something that changes for the better on a practical side. So, maybe someone's uh, health, uh, maybe your family business, maybe your... Uh, family vacation gets to be more like the one you wanted to do for yourself uh, there is going to be a lot to do there's going to be all sorts of things going around and you may be stretched thin so try not to be involved more than it is necessary because at the end of the day you need time for yourself as well and not for everybody around you again considering the season you could be the one that has to plan all the logistics of your family vacation so that could be a solution a specific situation illustrated by this card not necessarily bad but try to get some time for yourself as well because at the end of the day it's gonna go fine you are going to find uh, a happy solution happy middle ground uh, things are going to grow start growing at the very least uh, uh, happiness wise uh, feelings wise so it is going to be resolved i in this case see clearly enough the, the the developing of a situation which is good but it's going to be a little bit tiresome a little bit uh, a little bit more than uh, what you maybe hoped to have to deal with but it's going to be fine everything everybody is going to be happy in the end and now uh, the relationships between you and your colleagues or your uh, bosses or managers or what have you on your work inside your workplace a lot of big energies you have uh, older colleagues and uh, kind of workplace friends so the ones you enjoy spending time with maybe chit chat about the other colleagues opening up a little bit but never consider fully best friends or the kinds of friendship that you are going to miss terribly should you move away or should they do it and there is happiness there is well-being in the middle so you have essentially a good or you're going to have 
essentially a good place, a good, uh, a happy, nurturing situation with your colleagues, with your uh, workplace. People that understand you, people that can give you the kind of light friendship to feel like you're part of the group, but not to build particular responsibilities with one another uh, and therefore uh, a bit more uh, enjoyment and enrichment for yourself. That was it. Thank you for, joy, uh, for watching the video. Uh, you can follow me both here on YouTube and on Instagram. The handle for that is, on the is in the description of the video. You can also find there my email address if you want to book a reading. I, I remind you that this is my job, so of course a private reading is going to be behind a payment fee. But again, if you feel like I could maybe give you insight, insight sorry, uh, or answer your questions in a satisfac satisfactory manner, in the description of my, any of my videos you can find the, the email address. In the Italian videos, you are going to find also my numbers, but because of the time differences uh, with me living in Italy, maybe don't use that. As always, I remind you that I'm not a, an English native speaker, so please be kind if I make mistakes or I need a, a moment to remember, uh, remember a, a word I'm trying to use or if I mispronounce something, please Feel free to let me know in the comment section down below, but be kind <laughs> when you do. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye.